very good evening and welcome to the 7 o'clock nightly news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, issued Edict 2 of 2017 stipulating the engineering prices, practice license and its renewal fees. The edict includes fee denominations which supersede Edict 19 of 1983. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning was tasked to implement this edict, effective from the day following the date of its official publishing in the Official Gazette. National Guard Commander Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa met Pakistani Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Zubair Mahmoud Hayat. The Pakistani Army Chief of Staff welcomed His Highness's visit to Pakistan as part of the development of existing military cooperation between Bahrain and Pakistan. His Highness congratulated Lieutenant General, Gen Lieutenant General Hayat on his appointment as Chief of Staff of the Pakistani Armed Forces, praising the efforts of the Pakistani Army in supporting regional security and stability and fighting terrorism, wishing the Islamic Republic of Pakistan more progress and prosperity. They discussed various issues of shared interest, including the Islamic Military Coalition Against Terrorism. They also reviewed bilateral cooperation and friendship ties, the commended advancement of bilateral ties in all fields, especially lauding their military cooperation. National Guard Commander Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa met with Pakistani Inter-Service Intelligence ISI Director General Lieutenant General Naveed Mukhtar. The Chief of Pakistani Intelligence welcomed His Highness's visit to Pakistan, praising the constantly evolving bilateral ties fostered by the leaderships of both countries. His Highness congratulated Lieutenant General Naveed Mukhtar on his appointment as Chief of Inter-Services Intelligence, lauding the accomplishments of the Pakistani Armed Forces and Security Agencies in fighting terrorism and safeguarding the region's security and stability, wishing the Islamic Republic of Pakistan further progress and prosperity. His Highness commended the advanced level of cooperation of friendship ties in all fields, especially in military and intelligence coordination and cooperation. Education Minister Dr. Majid al Noemi signed an MOU with the Arab Education Office for Gulf Cooperation Council Region's Director General Dr. Aliad Zohali Kalkarni on the sidelines of a graduation ceremony for the GCC Education Ministry's me members. The ceremony was organized by the Arab Education Office in cooperation with the International Society for Technology and Education, the ISTE, and the Regional Center for Information and Communication Technology, the RCICT. Dr. Anaemi affirmed that the technical and advanced training facilities provided by the RCICT in cooperation with UNESCO will enhance the important role of the Arab Education Office in implementing training programs on the GCC level and in Yemen. This sustainable partnership will also strengthen the high quality training provided to teachers and lecturers in the Kingdom of Bahrain. For his part, Dr. Akani praised the support of the Bahrain to the Arab Education Office, affirming that this MOU will facilitate the implementation of training programs in ICT and so benefit education services in member states. He continued that the office seeks to benefit from Bahrain's experience in enhancing e-learning in different schools and in different grades. First Target today held a forum for the investors and participants of the Bahrain International Expo 2017. More on this report with Shuk Mohammed. First Trade held a forum to discuss the upcoming plans for the Bahrain International Expo 2017. The expo is for international trade and will be ongoing for three days from the 12th to the 14th of January at the Bahrain International Exhibition Centre. The First Trade team as well as investors and participants are excited and eager for the expo to begin. It's a, a very great opportunity for Bahrain to, help, to hold such an important event. Uh, we really look forward to explore what uh, investments that we can bring to Bahrain in the field of health. I hope we will bring investors together. They will explore what opportunities provided by different authorities in Bahrain, like the NHRA, Temkin, and, and uh, uh, LMRA, and how can they uh, bring their bus business in, what facilities they can you know, get benefit of and uh, when you bring all the people together I think uh, we can succeed in, in having some investment in Bahrain in the health sector. The expo is the first and biggest exhibition specialized in different fields among the GCC that contains four exhibitions including the Pioneer Renaissance Expo, Bahrain Modern House 3, Bahrain Technology Expo and the Health and Beauty Expo. 
it, it shows that the security in Bahrain and also the investment in Bahrain and the business is growing up. And I think uh, that uh, we are welcoming all the investment which is coming to Bahrain, especially in this uh, uh, exhibition. Uh, uh, more than uh, 20 companies are already uh, combining and also they are coming to share. And uh, the same thing was happening before also uh, a few just a few months ago when we held also another uh, exhibition, which uh, very big companies was coming and holding here. And uh, now I think uh, we are uh, uh, exposing that uh, the future for the, the businesses and, and the exhibitions in Bahrain is becoming much better. And I think uh, uh, today that we can show and to approve that everything in Bahrain is going more and more and growing up, it's becoming much better than what we think. Today's forum held by First Target is a definite success and it's clear that the Bahrain International Expo 2017 is not one to be missed. For Bahrain International, I'm Shogun Mohammed.